Hey there, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works, where we do everything from on-demand learning, virtual mentoring, hackathons, and private trainings. Uh, and for this week's video, I want to bring you a Power BI video using bookmarks. Whether you've used them in the past or you don't know about them, I think this video is going to be useful to you. So the whole idea of what a bookmark does is it shows a different view of your report page to your end user. Whether you want them to, with a click of a button, see all of your visuals at the table level, uh, or maybe you want them all at the chart level, or whatever it might be. But for this scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to show a bookmark for our end users that give them tips about how to interact with the report. Because oftentimes we'll make a report, things are picture perfect and beautiful, we know how to use that report, but our end user might not have Power BI experience. They're strictly the consumers of the report. And we want to make sure that they know about all of the ways to interact with it. Well, we could easily just send them an email with an FAQ on it or something, but let's embed it in this report page so that way it's a better user-friendly experience for them. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about and how we can get this accomplished. So as you can see on this report, I've got a few different visuals. I have a um, drill through on one of these. So if I go to Australia, I do a right click. I have a drill through page. It takes me there. All of my visuals are filtered down just through Australia. I can come back, go back to the regular page. But my end user might not know about how to get to a drill through page. Or they might not know that when you hover over the funnel icon, it tells you what filters are affecting your slicer. Or if I've added this personalized visuals features that they can personalize the visual once I publish. So what I've done is I've made a nice little uh, PowerPoint slide that has all that information for them. And I've just taken a screenshot of it and I want to embed it right here within the report and then use that as a bookmark. So here's how we're going to set this up. The first thing that we're going to need to do with this is I'm going to put in that information. So I'm going to insert, I'm going to go to that image where I've made my bookmarks tip. I'm going to take it up the entire screen. And you can see I've got quite a lot of information for my end user here. Then, after they see this bookmark, I have to have the end goal in mind. I'm going to have to have a way for them to click a button for this bookmark to go away and go back to the original view. So I'm going to put in one more image here. I'm going to use a nice little close icon. And then over here, just resize it. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I can almost set the bookmark up, except if you notice at the top, I've got these extra titles that were coming through from my visuals that are behind here. So this is where I would come over to the view ribbon and I'd use the selection pane. And on the selection pane, you're allowed to hide individual objects. So really for this bookmark, I only want them to see the two images I brought in, the X icon and the, the PowerPoint slide there. So I'm gonna hide everything else. And now all I have to do is make the bookmark, make this view for them. So I'm gonna hit the bookmarks ribbon and the bookmarks pane comes out and I'm gonna hit add. Simple as that. So now I'm just gonna say this is, I'm gonna call this the, uh, the info bookmark. Great. Now what else do I need to do? I now need to make the bookmark of the page without that information on there. So we're gonna go back into that selection pane and basically just reverse everything. Hide the image and the close icon and show the other parts. So as we take a look, I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to hide the images and now I'm going to bring back every other piece of the puzzle here. But I need to do one more thing before I make this bookmark. I want a button on this screen in order for them to click the button and activate this info bookmark. So in the insert ribbon, I'm going to put a quick little button. We'll use the eye icon. We'll bring it right on over. And now that looks pretty good. So I'm ready to add this other bookmark. So I'm going to hit add and I'm going to call this the no info bookmark. So now let's see what works. So I'm on no info, info bookmark. Ah, notice what happened. Because I've added a new thing to the screen, uh, it puts it on my info bookmark. So all I have to simply do is with my info bookmark selected, I don't want that eye icon to be there. So I'm gonna hide it, and I need to come back over here and update this bookmark. So I just hit the ellipses and I hit update. So now let's see if we're in business. No info, info. No info, oh, it's looking picture perfect. And now here comes the very last step. Last step we have to do is put some action on those buttons because that bookmarks pane is no longer gonna be there once we publish out. So the way we'll accomplish that is I'm gonna select the eye icon 
And with that selected in the format button, I'm going to come on over. I'm going to turn the action to on. And then the type of action is this going to be a bookmark. And I want this to take them to the info bookmark. All right, so let's see if that works. So I'm going to control click because you have to hold down the control button when you're in the desktop to use buttons. But once you publish, it's a regular click. Oh, looks good. Now let's put the action on the X button. So when someone hits the X button, it should take them to the other bookmark. So we're going to turn the action to on, take them to a bookmark, and we want it to take them to the no info bookmark. And now we should be golden. And things are working picture perfect. So as you can see here with bookmarks, this is a nice easy way to show some tips or maybe a narrative or whatever else you want to show without having them go to a new page or separate documentation. You also can use this uh, by setting up a filter selection. You can make a separate image uh, within Power BI on your page and put in like a rectangle and put your slicers on that rectangle and hide everything else but the slicers so when they hit this little funnel icon, the slicer bookmarks show up, they make their slicer selections, and then they hit the X, it closes it out, goes back to the original page, but then all those visuals would have those slicers uh, put on them. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. I could definitely do a demonstration on that because there's a one extra little step we have to do with it. But I hope you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully it's something that you can use in either your old reports or future reports and make that end user navigation experience so much easier for them.